how's that background noise on my cell phone? Usually, I have a microphone down here and you guys still complain about the noise. And I didn't plan on filming this today, so I'm on the cell phone and <laughs> hopefully this comes out okay is all I have to say. Uh, but I wasn't planning on doing this today. I was just gonna show you guys a normal day of eating at home. I had a headache coming on and usually eating, getting in nutrition, both micro and macronutrient prevents that. Uh, so I figured I would just talk about and show you guys what I've been doing down at my job once a week, maybe once every other week. This is definitely not a consistent thing, but you know, I've done it enough times now that it actually works out pretty well and there's a lot of reasoning to what I'm doing. You guys have seen this a few times in the vlog videos. This is just organic beef jerky from Whole Foods. This stuff doesn't taste that good. The ingredient list is really long. And that being said, it's an organic, affordable beef jerky. Uh, I spoke the other day how we're getting a dehydrator soon. So hopefully we have our beef jerky back and actually have something that tastes decent and is decent for you. And I have some chocolate. Had half a bar of, frankly, what do you have a Whole Foods sponsorship? The organic dark chocolate from Whole Foods. It's basically chocolate and sugar. Uh, so fairly minimal ingredient, nice caffeine boost, good amount of magnesium, lots of macronutrient energy from the fats and the chocolate, as well as the cane sugar. And I usually have a couple of figs. I had three today, mainly for fiber, for gut motility, a little more carbohydrate energy. And I eat these one at a time, going by feel. Jerky, of course, very high in protein, B vitamins, meat being very nutritious in general. And I think a couple months ago, we did a video titled, Why Meat is Good for You, and we went over how you know something as simple as a slab of muscle meat is almost nutritionally complete. That being said, you know the chocolate is a nice contrast to the minerals that are missing. The magnesium, the copper, primarily. You know, chocolate is a little bit high on the omega-6, but it's not the end of the world, especially when I'm only having it once a week, once every two weeks. Figs, not really an amazing source of minerals, maybe a decent amount of potassium, uh, small amounts of some things like manganese, molybdenum, but you're not eating an incredible amount of them. It's really just fiber, carbohydrates, feeding the gut bacteria, glucose, fructose, not a bad source, just something I enjoy a little bit of. I do hydrate with mineral water, so Mountain Valley has a decent amount of magnesium, calcium, they actually even put it on here. Uh, but not really that high, which I like because the Gerald Steiner kind of binds me up. So I wouldn't say that you're getting an incredible amount of minerals by drinking this, which is why I have these three things here that I take on occasion. Uh, today, I was overdoing the, the calcium and the Gerald Steiner because I was using it to make kefir. So I, as soon as I came in, I swigged down like an eighth of this bottle of magnesium glyconate and my headache almost went away instantly. Uh, the stuff is kind of strong, liquid tasting. The only one that's really strong tasting, but you know, you need to get so much magnesium that this is a highly, highly concentrated supplement. Like there's a lot of magnesium in here. And then we have the vitamin B complex and the antioxidant support. I take these mostly when I have a headache. So like today I didn't take them, but the past three days when I was down here, I took them for an energy boost. And this is really all of the B vitamins that you would see in a typical B complex, except it's the correct amount that occurs naturally in meat. So if you were to eat you know, one pound of jerky basically, or well, one pound of meat, which is a quarter pound of jerky when it's dehydrated, that's how many B vitamins you're getting in one full dropper of this. So it's highly available, makes me feel a lot better, big energy boost. This is basically like a five hour energy if you combine it with the caffeine in there, except it's a healthy, natural version without an imbalance of vitamins. Antioxidant support is NAC, N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, which NAC is the precursor to, coenzyme Q10, which is incredibly important and also incredibly expensive, and some vitamin C. This is basically all of the antioxidant cycles in the body maximized. So it's really just checking the boxes of those two antioxidant cycles, methylation and the vitamin C cycle. Uh, feel pretty good when I take this as well. I, again, th these are liquid, so they are fairly strong tasting. What I usually do is you know, take a little swig out of the bottles and I you know, swallow it down with some water. I don't really mind it too much, but these have really been a lifesaver. And all of the other ones I take you know, on a several times per week or 
several times per month basis. Main thing I forgot to mention is all of those supplements and foods in combination are really to be anti-EMF radiation because that's what's giving me the headaches, the super high radio frequency radiation levels here in New York City. Magnesium on its own is a calcium channel blocker and the calcium channels are what the radiation works through to create inflammation in your body and then those two antioxidant pathways that I'm taking the supplements for also work against the radiation. So basically every single thing I did today in that first meal is just about as good as you can get to be anti-EMF radiation. Maybe if I had some water kefir with me, which I was actually thinking of bringing, it would have been a lot better. And then you wear some protective clothing, you shield your head occasionally. You know, I can even be on my cell phone and I won't get a headache. I just wanted to apologize again for the audio quality in there. I'm sure it's horrendous and you can barely hear me, but I don't really have anything new to show you guys at home. Uh, the meals I've been doing lately are either just steak, white rice with some cauliflower, which I've showed you guys, and I've also been having uh, some pizza here and there, which I showed you guys in the recipe video last weekend. If I keep doing that consistently for another week or two, I'll do a video showing you guys that is a day of eating. But honestly, I haven't been feeling that good eating the pizza every day. I have a feeling it's because I was using Gerolsteiner water in the pizza dough and Gerolsteiner water in the water kefir at the same time and just overdoing the calcium like crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm going to test that out this week, see how I feel, and if I feel good, we'll keep doing it. If not, we'll just X out the pizza as something I shouldn't really be eating on a consistent basis. Although I don't think it's the pizza or the gluten because I've been eating a lot of cookies, but we'll have to see, we'll have to find out. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully in the very near future, I can you know, provide you guys with high quality, non-perishable alternatives on a larger scale. I know we already have the best bars, and a couple of things here and there on Frankie's Free Range Foods, but uh, definitely gonna have a lot more than that in the very near future. So please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Therefore, be sure to go to frankdestefano.com, sign up for the newsletter, and support me by checking out my other businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.